Okay, hey, welcome to Five Minutes at Little Bighorn Battlefield. Hey, my name is Marvin Dawes, a member of the Crow Tribe, and I'm going to be talking about Curly, the Crow Scout. Uh, by the way, Curly's Indian name is uh, Shiri Shish Shish, being curly, you know, curly hair. And, uh, you know, Curly was the last ones uh, with, with Custer. And uh, he eventually rolled out with him until in what we now call Medicine Tukuli, just on the other side of this ridge. As earlier, Tom mentioned that in that coulee. So from where he pointed out, down the bottom there, it would be about a mile or about three quarters of a mile. From there, Curly, this is where I last saw Custer. Now, Curly, uh, who uh, was interviewed uh, later, several times by uh, the author uh, Walter Kemp and also John John Gray Graves. So based on his account is what we hear about Curly and the 7th Cavalry and Custer down in that coulee. So Curly again last one with the command. You know he uh, asked his permission granted Curly down there in medicine to coulee now they're in that coulee, and once they would stop, you know, Cur uh, Custer holding his arm up, and Curly pretty soon he said he he saw uh, soldiers, you know, tapping his shoulders and pointing at you know the star, you know, when you go like this, he points at the stars, meaning that they're rank compared to the other in ranking soldiers. So he said he saw soldiers, officers, riding, coming to here, you know, forward. And pretty soon he said he saw soldiers, the officer, and Custer, you know, talking. Pretty soon. Soldiers. Riding, heading towards the river. You'll see down below here on the other side of that ridge. Soldiers heading towards the river. Now we assume that they were ordered to attack, cross there and attack on the middle part of the river. And the other commander now heading up towards the top here on this ridge here. Uh, that is known today as the Nye Kydride Ridge, okay? And Curly himself said, Custer, this is where Custer turns to me and says, you need to go, you've done your fight. So Curly said he heads out. Now, there's some stories about Curly, you know, here in this fight, and one of them is that he uh, had mentioned, and of course, John Gray, the author, and uh, Walter Kemp mentioned this later that Curly barely made it out on this fight. Where Curly says he di he, he uh, disguises himself, you know, puts a blanket over him and it's like Sue and barely making it out. So either, whatever the story, Curly eventually heads towards, you see those hills there. Uh, you see the sharpest point here, right down here. Um, Closest one in Crow, we call that Shije Ata. Shije means a hill, Ate means a point. Shije Ata. And Curly arrives there and he turns and he looks and he could see dust part of the fight. So by that time, you assume that the Custer Command, five companies, are now totally annihilated here at the present day Last Stand Hill. Now Curly will head towards north, towards the Little Bighorn River, and there he arrives where the streamer far west was parked. And Curly, as he rides forward towards the streamers, the soldiers, seeing Curly. Now Curly will dismount, and you know Curly can't speak English, so he dismounts and he wants to describe what he saw here. The soldiers, soldiers being killed. So he gets off, kneels to the ground, pulls his way out the ground, clearing the dirt, clearing the grass. And then he and then he picks up these sticks, breaks them up, and puts them in line, like how the command of soldiers would line in line in command, and the soldiers are there seeing this. Then all of a sudden, Curly would wipe his hands and wipe them out thinking they know what's going on or what happened. And of course the news arrives a few days later 
at Fort Abraham Lincoln. In the meantime, Curly, you know, later after the fight here, after the fight here, you know, the army, the, the media, you know, they were still investigating. They wanted to know what happened here. So when they come on to the Crow Reservation, first person we go to would be Curly. And Curly was getting to be like, uh, more like a celebrity. And uh, there was some jello 